Hey guys, it's me Dara. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my skincare routines, both of the morning and evening. So let's get started. One thing you should probably know about me is that I'm really passionate about skincare and I think everyone should take care of their skin. I have combination type of skin, which means I get oily and I have dry skin. So I spent a lot of time just finding the products that will work best for me. And I think I actually found them and right now testing or some of them I've been testing for a long period of time. And now I'm ready to show you. As my morning routine differs from my evening, I will firstly show you my morning and then evening routines. Firstly, in the morning, I wash my face with the cleanser that was Cetaphil. I used to use it for maybe three to four years, basically for the long period of time. But now I decided to change it and I ordered CeraVe because it contains niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. The same as the ordinary niacinamide acid, which I ordered maybe about two months ago and it definitely works on my skin but i will talk about this later in the video so after i wash my face with the cleanser i use benzoyl peroxide topical wash 10 percent which was prescribed me for when i'm done washing my face i'm using paper towels because regular towels can contain germs or bacteria that can cause your acne or breakouts I have third hand. <laughs> After I'm done with washing my face, I use the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% serum, which definitely, definitely helped me to get rid of my redness. Actually, I still have it and I still fighting with my acne and trying to like um, combine all the products in the right way just to help my skin but i will say that it helps me as you can see this one is the empty bottle and this one i reordered it because i really liked it and i think you should probably try it if you have uh, maybe i don't know maybe some blemishes or redness because there are a lot of information in the internet about the ordinary product i think i'm going to deepen the ordinary product the next step as I said, this niacinamide, 10%. I just apply a few drops on my cheeks. By the way, two times a week, I use the ordinary HA 30% plus DHA 2% peeling solution. It exfoliates your skin and just refresh it, which definitely helped me to reduce, as I said, my redness and dark spots on my face and on my, especially on my cheeks. After the ordinary serum, I use clindamycin phosphate lotion, which was prescribed me for, from a doctor the same as the benzoyl peroxide and it kills all the bacteria on my face. When you're going out, don't forget to put the sunscreen on your face because this is a really important step when you're going out. I I use Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I actually used La roche -Posay sunscreen for I think for yeah for a long period of time but right now I decided to try Neutrogena and actually this one is water gel lotion and it works okay in my skin like I don't worry about it and I think for this period of time when I'm in isolation in quarantine I don't go out I'm sitting at home 24 hours so I think it's okay for me so that's it for my morning routine let's talk about evening after i wash my face with the CeraVe cleanser i use the same like in the same order uh, i use 
the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% nice Serum. Then I use Vico Cream, which moisturizes my combination skin and it really helps me. And then I use Tritonin, which was prescribed from my doctor too. Just a pea size of this uh, cream. And recently, I think in yeah in this week, I ordered the ordinary azelaic acid suspension ten percent, and it says that you will get rid of your blemishes and redness. It will improve the texture of your skin, and I'm still trying this on my skin. And I think later, I will tell you how it works on me. After I moisturize in my face, I use Marie Badescu drying lotion. I leave it for a night. Then in the morning, I rinse it with the CeraVe cleanser. And I, I want to tell that I see a major difference in the appearance of my blemish and the texture of my skin. So that was basically it for the AM and PM routines. But overall, I also use masks and peeling solution for my skin. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about this one. This one is cranberry mask, clay mask from Jin Davis. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It calms my face and reduces redness of my face. I recently ordered, actually, yeah, it was the huge package from the Sephora that I ordered recently and it's called Glam Glow Mask Super Matte Clearing Treatment and I will try it I think later and I definitely want to talk about this mask Ollie Hendrickson called Plunge Pore Mask and it definitely refreshes and cools my face and it helps me to wake up and I forgot to talk about the cream I used to use it's called Murad. I don't use it now because I think it maybe works for some type of skin but not for me and also I used Murad toner and I think toner is actually an important step in your skincare but I decided to temporarily stop using it. I use toner from Murad. I love doing skincare routines because by this I can spend more time with myself by that I feel more confident. If you have good products that you wanted me to try, leave it in the comments below and I will definitely read them and try them. As well as I hope you enjoyed my video because I really wanted to show what products I use and I hope you're staying safe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye! Hello guys, I'm in my bathroom right now. I just wanted to really quick show you what I'm doing. So let's get started. When you are removing your makeup, you should be really gentle with your skin because you can easily irritate it by rubbing or doing extra know, actions to your skin. So if you have really heavy makeup on your eyes, you can leave your cotton rounds on your eye for, I don't know, for a second. So your makeup will easily will be taken off.